Talk about professional, being very professional. I just seen you eat some Harry Bow, and this is the, this is the day before the tournament, man. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's me who can't speak English, <laughs> apparently. Even Phil Liggett said it yesterday. <laughs> All right, we're here with a uh, team, what is it, Team DSM, Free... Fermanich. Fermanich, bus driver. <laughs> Mr John Degencomb. Yeah, we we'll pretend we've only just met. Yeah. Good day, John. How good are you day. today? Very good, how are you? Very good, but even better for seeing you. Yeah. Right, I haven't got any questions ready, so what, what are we going to chat about? Well... Tor. Tor's a good place to start because that's where we are, aren't we? First time it started in the Basque region since 92. Do you remember the 92 tour? Were you far too young? I was three years old then. All right, good. So... <laughs> Christ, you're making me feel old. What's the first tour you remember then? Probably in 97. I mean, uh, pretty uh, uh, pretty important one for, for German cycling. Uh, of with, course, uh, yeah. With the Ulrich winning the tour. What, what was it like growing up then? Having him as a, an icon of the sport in Germany. I mean, he, he was the person, everything was uh, was turning around him yeah. in, 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 in cycling, in, in sport in general in that uh, time. Um, cycling was uh, back in that time much more in the spotlight uh, than, than it is now. It was not only one or two years uh, that uh, they, they were so much in the focus, it was, uh, they had like a a time of 10 years uh, where he was like challenging every year for the victory in exactly. the tour. Yeah. That telecom period team, yeah, it was yeah. just wild, wasn't it? Yeah, and, and obviously, yeah, also that was one of the reasons why I started cycling back in, back in that uh, time. Um, I was watching the tour with my with my parents. Uh, I even was once. Well, it must have been then in the early 2000s uh, as a as a young kid uh, at the uh, uphill time trial in Alpe uh, I was there. What, uh, what watching side of the road? Yeah, on the side of the road. Yeah. I bet. So crazy. I'm guessing you got goosebumps there watching it as a kid. Oh, for sure. I mean, Do you still get the same goosebumps now then? Do you get the same sort of goosebumps turning up to the Tour de France? Because how many have you done now? So I have, I've uh, finished seven. Yeah. I've started eight. Uh, so in, in 2020, uh, I, uh, I, I, yeah. I started uh, in, in Nice and I had to go home after one day yeah, of that crash there. Okay, you, you still have that special feeling. Uh, basically the same feeling what I had uh, as a kid when the, the riders were passing there. Because uh, it is like a crazy atmosphere. Um, obviously, it's not alongside the whole parkour, but uh, yeah. you will always come to moments which you will remember forever. And uh, when I was a kid uh, standing at the side of the road, I, I had one crazy memory. I was like, I was touching the back of uh, Paolo Bettini back then yeah. if, in the tour. And, and it was like, his, his jersey and he was like completely soaked and yeah, wet yeah. and it was like so uh, surprised that like the riders were so wet and because of the sweat and also the like uh, the water they pour yeah. over the, the bodies to to cool down the temperature but uh, yeah I, I, when I was a kid I, I didn't expect this and I was really like uh, confused like why is he wet yeah 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 and, uh, have you ever met him no no because I I think we also never really raced together. Have you met any of your heroes then? Because we obviously we are also one uh, from from the same uh, from the same city. Um, uh, born in in Gera, I met uh, Olaf Ludwig when I was a young kid uh, at the club. He was basically like a godfather, something right. so, something yeah. like that, like similar. So and he was like supporting us with uh, some money and uh, helping us to develop as uh, young cyclists. Uh, and that was that was uh, always special to to catch up with him. And sometimes we send messages still. And uh, no way. Yeah. yeah. Being mates with a hero. Yeah, absolutely, special connection. Obviously, when you come also from the same city. Yeah, man. Talk about like development. And you mentioned young riders, then, or you being a young rider, sports changing, isn't it? You're getting some young lads popping through the <laughs> into pro peloton now, aren't you? you oh. Even in your time, you must have seen it change. Yeah, for sure. I mean, 
it's it's been now uh, season number 13 for me so uh, I've, I've seen a lot and uh, it's uh, like you said it's changing uh, the the riders getting younger and younger and uh, last weekend I was riding the the German nationals uh, with the small brother of Marco Brenner Marco Brenner is still a young rider but his brother is just 18 now so he's uh, like first year under 23 and he's in the development team and he did the elite race with us uh, and it's it's crazy to it's decent, yeah it's just not right but i think it is just like a development natural development that everything gets younger and uh, it's not necessarily bad uh, because i think the whole the whole environment just uh, is is going in into that direction that you have to start earlier with uh, with things and uh, yeah they they are more professional than than right. we were back in 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 that uh, time and uh, in in that age right i've got a challenge for you <laughs> I've got a challenge have you seen these ah the paninis paninis oh, right yeah. i'm going to open a packet yeah. and you've got to guess what rider I'm talking about, let's have a look who's going to be an easy one. Ooh, ooh. Right, I'll choose this lad. Choose the easy one. Right, we're talking about young lads. This gentleman was born in 1999. Okay. Right, tall guy. He's a tall guy. He's in the tour. He's, he's racing in, the tour. He's in the tour. I'm pretty sure, is he? Yeah, he's with stickers here. Is he? <laughs> let's have a look. Let's have a look. <laughs> I might have to open another packet. Let's have a look. Oh, you can see it. Bollocks. We'll have to go again. In fact, no, I'll tell you what. I'll give you the cards and people at home have got to guess. You've got to give the clues and then people can guess in the comments okay. below. Because you'll know the lads better than me. And you can say, like, he's got terrible bike handling skills. Or he talks too much in the peloton. He's always at the back. You mates with any of them. He's French. French rider. We're searching for a French rider. His uh, specialty is uh, time trialing. Breakaways also, obviously, because, uh, yeah, it's similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's from 95, and uh, he's from the same city than uh, Roman Bardet. Right, blooming neck. So going to his own town this tour as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. So... You know a fair bit about him. Do you get? Do you have a good chat in the peloton with everybody? No, I, that's, that's all player? what stands here on that uh, on the stats. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> now let me know. Uh, put in the comments uh, if you find out uh, who it is. Right, mate. On that note, I'm going to let you get back to your bus driving and the having Harry some bus. more horrible. <laughs> 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 no, thank uh, you for your time. That's superb. Yeah. Thank you. Excellent. Um, Enjoy the tour. Thanks for watching. <laughs> and let us know who. Remy Cavagna. How do you pronounce it? Remy Cavagna. Remy Cavagna. The TGV. The, is he a he's, big... a, he's, he's called. Uh, his nickname is the TGV. Is that because. Um, he's so fast. He is. He, isn't he? He, will, he will just drop you out of the wheel. Really? Yeah. Is that hard lad to stay in his wheel, is he? It's so hard. Oh, I'll be glad to hear that. Yeah. There we are, Remy. This you guy know. has no limits. You make you make John's legs hurt. <laughs> <laughs>